just ready to get this 180 started. Got some feeders down there, another one down there, a little bit. Got a little bit on the bottom. This is gonna be going inside. These. And we'll go down to the gonna be fish room probably. Jericho. Right, that's what's going to be going in. A couple three hundred heaters. The Pond Guru set up FX six. Fine and filter medium horse. And I'm going to put some, um, shit down there. Pond Guru set up a, what are they, Aqua Clear 110s. Bio Home Everywhere, Bio Home Everywhere. Get my plant. Got another big box of Ultimate Home. Got my lights. Got my room, whatever, whatever, all this is going to be replaced, fish probably, anyway, yeah, Ponder set up, FX6, couple 110 AQs set up, and that's it, we got to put it all together, see what happens, it's going to be a long day, custom piping, forgot, the guy that had some custom piping for the FX6 pipes or hosing, I did the same thing, just a little bit different. Use a heat gun to connect these two. Heat gun, heat gun, heat gun, slides right in. A little bit better outspout. Connect those in. Oh, it's a nightmare. Fun, but a nightmare. We'll see what happens. Alright man, I'll do a little video now. I'm setting up my 180 2x2x6. Customize some of the plumbing on the flu ball. I don't like the crappy tubing that it comes with. That's all I gotta do this online. I wish I knew his name to give him props, but I don't. I changed it up just a little bit. Got some black tubing. 3 4 inch elbows from Lowe's on the out spot instead of the garbage one that comes with it. And all these bad boys are gonna shoot it out. In reverse like that should be good it's going on the 180 painted flat black acrylic in the back and the sides custom oak stand that came with it only paid 400 bucks for the both of them this is a garden hose garden hose the hosing that we got at uh, Elmer's Aquarium shout out to Elmer's Pittsburgh PA Got about 12 feet of it, probably gonna need a little bit more. FX6 is gonna hang out here in the middle. Two tens on each side with whatever the wife wants to put in them. Probably some feeders. Well, now I'll show you my Pond Guru setup on the FX6. Shout out to Pond Guru. He owes me about three grand and crap that I bought because of him. But anyway, it's all good. Love him. Hope he gets to see this. I'll show you the, the setup of the filter. On the next one. Just kind of the finished product before we get to the house. Hang over the edge and shoot towards us and out. Probably can see. See what's over here. Hang over the edge. Love the black. Can't see it at all. Hanging down in the depth. Jesus. There's a little tip on how to get these together a lot easier than breaking your hand. Just do a little heat gun, warm it up a little bit. Because it will not want to go in there easily. And after 20 minutes of messing with vices and shavings and carving them all down, we find a heat gun and heat up a little bit. 
I'm gonna pluck right on, you can adjust it however you want it. Alright, so we're doing a little modification on our electrical now. We're gonna put a strip down the back, which is actually the bottom that flips over for the power supply. And it's gonna go into a, this strip right here. It's gonna go along the bottom of the tank. Gonna connect that to this bad boy right here. <coughs> gonna go in here. I'm gonna be able to plug that in to either the wall, probably to a surge protected power strip, and have all the plugins that I need along the bottom of the tank. <coughs> because this man's a genius. <laughs>